Hi, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, and welcome to our third video in the series featuring the Laser Imprints Hard Surface One Transfer Paper. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Laser Imprints Hard Surface One to transfer to both coated and uncoated ceramic tiles. As you'll see here, I've got some different types of tiles. This tile is from our Condi product line that we call our matte finish tile. This tile is a tile that I bought from a local retailer that is uncoated. What we'll do is we will take some designs and we'll put them on the tiles here and I'll show you the process. Here I have my sample transfers that we will apply to these tiles using the Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper. Now, when it comes to the tile, it doesn't really matter if the tile is coated or uncoated. The instructions should be the same for both. What does matter is the type of image. Whether you're going to have a flat image resting on the surface or an image that you want to bring all the way to the bevel. That's the only difference in the technique. But let's work with a flat image on an uncoated tile. I'll take my transfer. Cut it away like so. I'll take my uncoated tile and position the image where I want it to appear. As you can see from the way I designed this image, I made the image area slightly larger than my transfer. However, the image that I chose should give us what I would consider a flat image on this product. I'll use a couple of pieces of heat tape to secure it. And now we're ready to go to our heat press. Again, for this product demonstration, I am using our Nomex felt heat pad over the bottom platen of my press. When it comes to the Laser Imprints Hard Surface One paper, while this item is not a requirement, I like to use it. It helps protect my bottom rubber from the constant pressure that we have to apply on these ceramic pieces. But once I have my Nomex felt down, I'm just going to lay some butcher paper over to protect the felt. Take my design, secured by heat tape, lay it so the paper is face up, and I'll cover the design with the foam pad that came with every pack of Laser Imprints Hard Surface One. It's okay if your foam pad gets smashed down over the course of use. You can reuse it on a number of occasions. But once I have my press ready, I'll swing over and for an item that's going to be a flat item, in other words not to the beveled edge of the tile, we want to set our heat press at 330 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to set our timer for three minutes and we want to make sure that we use a good firm pressure. Once our timer goes off, we'll remove the tile with the laser imprints hard surface one paper still attached because we want to let that tile completely cool before we remove the backing sheet. So check back with me and I'll show you the finished result. I've let this tile completely cool so that we can remove the backing sheet. I've also trimmed away some of the excess paper to make it easier to get to. I'll grab a corner, peeling away gently. And there, we have a nice flat image put onto an uncoated tile with Laser Imprints Hard Surface One. Here we have a matte finished coated tile provided by Condi Systems. Let's do a full bleed image to this tile using Laser Imprints Hard Surface One. I'll go ahead and cut away my transfer. Take my design and position the tile over my design. You noticed I made the design slightly larger than the tile. That's so that we could get to the beveled edge of this product. 
I'll take a few pieces of heat tape and use the heat tape to secure my image. Now I'm ready to set up my press. Again, I have my piece of Nomex felt to help protect the bottom rubber of my press, piece of butcher paper to protect the felt, take my design with the image secured, place it in the center of the heat press platen. Again, take the foam rubber pad that came with your pack of Hard Surface One, place it over, and we'll swing our heat press over and we'll lock it into position. Now, whenever we were doing a flat image on a tile, we only had to press the tile at 330 degrees for three minutes. But since we're trying to get to the beveled edge of this tile, we're increasing our time for three minutes to five minutes. So to review, this is at 330 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes with a firm, heavy pressure. When the timer goes off, we'll remove the tile and we'll allow the tile to completely cool before we remove the backing sheet. So check with me and I'll show you the finished result. I've allowed this to completely cool and I've trimmed away the excess paper to make it easier to peel. So now let's see the finished result. And that's imaging a coated matte finished tile with laser imprints hard surface one transfer paper. In case you make a mistake on a ceramic tile using laser imprints hard surface one, again, let's quickly review how you can correct mistakes with this product. As you can see from this example here, we got very close to the beveled edge of the tile, but didn't get out to the very end. It could just be a technique issue with yours truly. Now, some people might consider this an acceptable item for sale. But if you decided you wanted to retry the item, again, we can salvage the ceramic tile and use it again with the laser imprints hard surface paper. All we need to do is clean this product with acetone. Again, I'll take my tile and I'll set it. Take my acetone. Pour a little in. Use my syringe to draw some out. Start applying acetone to the image. And using a paper towel, Wipe the product clean. So using acetone, I was able to take the image right off of this coated tile and now I can take another sheet of Laser Imprints Hard Surface One and re-image the same tile. In other words, I might be out the transfer, but I'm not out the product. Let's review what we've learned in regard to Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper on ceramic tiles. When it comes to a ceramic tile, you could use a coated tile that was designed for sublimation or an uncoated tile that you could get from any distributor or retailer. When it comes to coated sublimation tiles, my advice is to stick with either satin or matte finished tiles for your best result. When it comes to imaging ceramic tiles with the Laser Imprints Hard Surface One, what really matters is, is the image going to be a flat image, in other words, not to the beveled edge, or do you need the image to go from edge to edge? If it's a flat image, remember to press at 330 degrees for three minutes with a firm pressure. If you want to go to edge to edge, you need to press for five minutes at 330 degrees with a firm pressure. However, if you have any questions regarding the technique or you need any additional information, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. And make sure to tune in for more instructional videos regarding Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper and how to use it. 
Until then, my name's Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours. Mm -hmm.